So a common question I get asked by students is change clubs or change ball position. This is something that I'm adamant about when it comes to chipping, especially for amateurs. So the professionals, you see them, they like to take their wedges, they like to play it back in their stance, they like to change ball position around. The problem with that with amateurs is they don't have the time like professionals do to get out there and practice and learn the expectation for the difference of playing a wedge back here or the difference of playing a wedge up here. So what I like to do is I like to theme everything together for my students. So I like to sing, theme my chipping, my pitching, and my full swing so that the things we're doing in chipping, pitching, are gonna affect our full swing. So this basic chip is all about switching clubs, maintaining the same ball position, and giving yourself different expectations. Having good chipping is all about having multiple expectations. Can I hit a higher one that rolls a little less? Can I hit a lower one that rolls a lot more? And then can I hit one that's in between those two? So what I like to do is tell my students the big thing, themes that we're gonna do the same is the ball position is gonna be center to a ball forward. Our weights with our lower body is always gonna lean forward about 60, 70% on our lead side. And when we do that, you can see how the handle comes with us. Now, I'm not changing the normal setup of this club. This is a pitching wedge. Every iron is set up to where the handle should be slightly in front of the club head. So if I put the ball back here and I press the handle forward, I've just created an unknown loft to my golf club. If I take my pitching wedge, which is standard 48, I set it up center to a ball forward, I lean everything a little forward, I still have 48 degrees of loft. That is the biggest key to me. So when I set up now to hit these chip shots, I have a clear expectation to where I always want to on normal speed greens, my pitching wedge should be about a 50-50. My sand wedge is about a 70 in the air, 30 on the ground, and my nine iron is the opposite. Using these three clubs, it's gonna keep things really simple, really consistent, and get your expectations to actually meet what you're doing out here on the green. So once again, since I have a pitching wedge, this is gonna be about 50-50. So when I look out here to my hole, my landing area is only gonna be about halfway to the hole. And that's gonna be key because my eyes tell my body how hard to hit these shots. Our eyes are a big, big thing that we have to understand that affects what our body's gonna do. If my eyes look at the hole, my body thinks, hit it to the hole. If my eyes are more focused on where I want the ball to land, then I'm gonna have more consistency in actually hitting this chip and landing it where I want. And as soon as it lands where I want, I have a good chance I know it's gonna go in the hole. Now, I'm gonna switch, I've got my 58, so it's a little bit different expectation. But once again, I'm gonna set up the same ball position, center to a ball forward, weight leaning forward about 70 on the lead side, and then moving that handle back and through and again, this is going to give me that expectation that I'm looking for of about 70-30. So as you can see, it come up a little bit short because I didn't fly it far enough. That one's a little bit better. Got up the hill. And then lastly, I like going to my 9-iron. Honestly, this is my favorite club to chip with. So this club, I try to gravitate towards this club as much as I can. The reason being is, is if you give me a ball in hand and you tell me I got to try to make it in that hole over there, I'm not going to half court or basketball shoot it and try to fly it into the hole. I'm going to do like I would bowl it or roll it. So I'm going to try to land this one once again, only about 30% of the way to the hole on the green. So as you can see, it's got a lot more rollout. But once again, it's all about expectation and consistency of what we're doing around the greens. If you're constantly changing ball positions, trying to make your sand wedge into a pitching wedge or a nine iron, you just don't have the consistency there compared to if we're gonna use a nine iron. I know the loft of a nine iron. I know the loft of a pitching wedge. If I set up the same way, I can have multiple expectations using the same technique, increasing my expectation, and of course, making more chips.